Hey guys, my name is Hesty and a few months ago I got accepted into my top choice medical school here on Long Island. I decided to make my first video about how I studied and took my MCAT exam because I was actually able to jump 18 points in about 4 months from the first exam that I took to my real actual exam. But at the same time, I was also taking classes and playing Division 1 tennis, so I'll just talk about how I did all that. So just a quick disclaimer, this is not how you have to study for the exam, but rather my journey and my experience with it. So I did not score in the top 99th percentile, and you definitely don't have to to get accepted into medical school. Unless you're really super talented and a genius, you're probably not going to get that 100th percentile score that everybody wants. And that's okay. My schedule got me a 510 on the MCAT. Cat, but the same schedule got another person a 519. Well, it doesn't mean I'm not good enough or smart enough. I just needed to spend more time studying or just change the way I thought about the exam. Regardless, my score got me into multiple medical schools, including my top choice. So pretty much what I'm saying is you don't need to take advice from the top scorers. The advice that they give you is really what's best for them. You need to figure out what's best for you. I want you guys to see a different way to study and maybe see how you can incorporate my schedule into yours and then figure out what works best for you so you get that top score. So I also have to add that I didn't do as well as I should have in my prereq classes and I think that was just because I was trying to balance the visual and sports and academics and my extracurriculars so I ended up cramming a lot for my classes and for my tests rather than understanding the content for the long term. The, the cramming worked of course on my college exams especially my last two years when I just became a master at cramming and regurgitating but the MCAT is not like this at all. So how you perform in your prereqs will definitely have an impact on your base knowledge and your base score for the MCAT. Because I had a little bit of like a weak foundation, I felt like I was starting from scratch when I studied for this exam and I had to reteach myself pretty much everything. And yeah, of course some of it was very familiar, but I didn't understand the concepts or the fundamentals of the topics that we needed to know for the MCAT. And for the first time I actually had to comprehend what I was uh, learning and there was no more uh, memorizing and cramming. Uh, this is not a regular college exam anymore. The MCAT isn't just about knowing the material, it's about being able to comprehend the information presented to you and being able to apply the stuff that you know with the stuff that's being presented and figure out what the answer is. Okay, so my score. I'm not gonna wait until the end of the video to share it, and I ended up getting a 510 with a breakdown of a 128, 124, 128, 130. I actually have people making fun of me on my TikTok about how I only got a 510 and I'm starting this whole account, but only getting a 510 got me to so many schools and it's such a great score. My first practice exam, I got a 492, which I took four months before I actually took my real MCAT. So in four months, I improved to a 510. Okay, so before I sat down to study for my MCAT, I had taken a year of Gen Chem, a year of Organic, a year of Physics, a Cell Bio, Biochem, Microbio, and Genetics. I've also taken all the labs that coordinated with them, and I was a psychology major, which definitely helped me on the psych -soc section, except I never took a social class, so I had to self-study for that. So for this exam, I used the Kappa Book Set, New World, Next Step, and the AAMC Bundle Package which is probably the most important thing I had. Okay guys, so let's break down my schedule month by month. If you want my schedule in a PDF, just drop your email in the comments and I'll get it to you. So the first two months I did content review. Originally I thought I needed to do only one month, but there was just no way with my schedule that I was going to fit all the content review in only one month. So I spread it out into two months. I used the Kaplan MCAT set, which I bought new because I like clean books and I wanted to be able to write in them. So I read all the books except for cars because I heard that it was just bad and I actually thought that I was going to do naturally good in the car section, which I did not by the way. So please learn from my mistake and start practicing cars early. I read the books in a specific order. I'm not sure why I did it in this order, but I was advised to do it by someone who had scored a 519. It definitely didn't hurt me, but I don't think it really made a big difference. But this is the order I did it. I started with biochem first and I pretty much just knocked out the whole biochem book. In about two weeks, I read about one to three chapters every single day and I kept a notebook. So I had specific notebooks for every single book in the cap set. So I would write down my notes in that book and then I had to read through my notes from the day before every single day. I didn't make flashcards in this time, but I did use a pre-made Quizlet set, um, like the 20 amino acid Quizlets, which I can link in the description. 
biggest mistakes I made in this time period was not reinforcing the material I was learning and kind of rushing through it. I thought that since the MCAT was more of an informational one, it's like kind of skip through the material fast and leave material that I wasn't really sure about alone because I thought I would just figure it out later. I was not practicing my cards at all which was a huge mistake and I wish I did that. So after a month of learning material I sat down for my first practice exam, um, a Kaplan exam, and I scored a 492 which kind of sucked. So I told myself that Kaplan isn't similar to the real AMC exam at all but it's good to get practice with the length and the style of the MCAT exam and since the exam came free with the books I just decided to use it and it was a good practice run. I recommend taking the score you get with a grain of salt because the test is just way different than AMC and it was the first time I sat down for a seven and a half hour exam at 8 a.m. and I was absolutely fried after it. So uh, even though I was really bothered by my score, I had to learn from my mistakes and finish Kaplan books and everything would be okay. So I spent two days going through that exam and its mistakes and making notes in my notebook and then I reread the notes I took from my readings. So after finishing my content review for another month, I decided to take another Kaplan practice exam to see how much better I got and I got a 494. So in one more month, I only got another two points. I was pretty much bugging out now because a 494 is nowhere close to the score I wanted. I decided to stop content review and start New World because I wasn't practicing my questions. So looking back, I feel like I should have done more content review just to have a better base knowledge, um, but I did eventually learn everything I needed to learn in time for the exam. Okay guys, so here's an outline of my month three and four review. So I took all my practice exams on a Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and I needed to replicate the exam as closely as I can to what my real test day is going to be like and I gave myself the proper breaks, the proper bathroom times and this is so important because you have to practice test day conditions as much as possible. It usually took me two days to review the whole test after I took it so I would start reviewing on Monday and then finish up around on Tuesday and Wednesday depending on how my classes were going and I pretty much just spent the whole day doing that. I reviewed all the questions I got wrong but I also made sure to review all the questions I got correct because I wanted to make sure that I was getting them right for the right reason. I wrote down everything I was getting wrong and right in my notebook which I had separate for just my tests and I separated based off the different exams I took. So for example I would write on the top of the page which exam I took and I would break it down into chem, physics, cars, bio, biochem, and then psych section. So some people did this on Google Docs, which I think is a great idea, especially if you like using the computer more. I'm just a very big pen and paper girl. So I felt like reviewing the exam was much harder than actually taking it. So if I ever felt burned out from reviewing, I would just do a block of UWorld questions. So in between the exams on Sundays, I did UWorld questions religiously. I started out by doing blocks of 20 questions at a time so I can just focus on 20 rather than do too many and not give them the, the attention that they deserve. So once I felt comfortable, I was making my own exams by doing 59 question sets of UWorld at a time and then reviewing it right away afterwards while it was still fresh in my mind. So UWorld is a phenomenal resource and I loved it every single bit. The question explanations are unbelievable and I learned from them so much more than I learned in the Kaplan book. If I had more time I would have gone through it a second time with quality over quantity so I just tried my best to understand the problems while I was going through them. On the next step practice exams I started to hit around the 502-504 area because I kept practicing doing questions while reviewing trouble areas I had. So for example if I kept getting questions about pressure wrong I'd watch either a Khan Academy video or reread that section in the Kaplan book to not make the same mistake again and if I didn't make it again then I would just drill it in. I did begin to make flashcards of all the information I was forgetting and all the information I was constantly seeing on my exams, and I reviewed these flashcards daily, if not every other day. Okay, so in the last month and a half was during summer vacation, so I was able to focus all my attention on the exam. This month I focused entirely on the AAMC material, which is the most important stuff relative to the exam. So the first thing you're going to do is the AAMC guide questions. It's like about half an MCAT and then you're going to review them very carefully. Review them whichever way works best for you. But I again, I went through every single question that I made and I made a note in my notebook on what I got wrong and why I got it wrong. Afterwards, I did all the Q packs and aimed to get a 90% correct and above. These are the questions that are supposed to be easy and basic knowledge and is more so you can see where you stand in terms of your content knowledge. The, the questions actually come from old MCAT exams before the 2015 changes, so you'll see how different the MCAT was, and 
If you're making mistakes in the Q packs, make sure you're reviewing your content and really know the material behind it. I also did Cars 2 before I did Cars 1 because Cars 1 is a little bit harder and better practice for your exam. So before I did Cars Pack 1 and Bio Pack 2, I took the AMC sample test. This test shows you a percentage of how much you got right. And again, I took a couple of days to review this and go through every single question. Again, I added whatever terms and information on that that was new or I had forgotten into my flashcards so that I can review the Mondays when I wasn't testing. Now, these last two, three weeks were the most important. In these last couple of weeks, I had taken the AMC exam one and got a 504. I did the three section banks, which are so, so important and I can't stress it enough. These questions are really hard and a really good example of the type of hard questions you will see on exam day. I also took exam two and I got a 509 and then exam three with a 508. So I was expecting a score around there. If you see you're running out of time, then I highly advise to make sure you get the CARS QPAC one, all the section banks and the AMC exams done first. And remember, when you're reviewing, if you don't understand an explanation or a topic, use Khan Academy to go and teach yourself or go back in the Kaplan books to reread it. The last three days before my exam, I stopped doing questions completely. All I did was review my notes and redo my flashcards. I kept it light and chill without stressing myself over. Okay guys, so some general tips about the whole experience of studying and taking the exam. So number one, please take one full day off a week or every two weeks. It's not worth studying every single day. I learned that the hard way. I would be studying every single day without a break and I would have spent three days on material that could have only taken me one day had I taken that break. Okay, so number two, don't stress about what other people are getting. You are not them. The MCAT score doesn't represent your IQ. It represents how much time you put in like any other standardized exam. If I had spent more time on the exam, I would have done better, and I'm positive I wanted a higher score. I would have just needed to do that more. Number three, some people do nine hours a day, some people study five. I did 10 to 12 hours a day, and I thought I was fine. I took one hour lunch breaks on those days, and test days weren't too hard for me. So a lot of people don't study the day before their exam, and it makes sense totally, but I actually did some flat cards um, because I was calm and I felt like I could just handle it and I actually ended up having a question on it on okay guys also make sure to exercise I was doing about 30 minutes exercising every other day just to keep myself active and leave me you know a more positive attitude for the rest of the day okay number six please leave room for a retake I took my exam in July and was technically really late for the cycle since I got my score back at the end of August and only applied in September I feel like I wouldn't have done as well if I took it earlier and it was fine for DO programs and I'm pretty sure if I took it earlier and studied more, I would have been well for um, MD programs. And I know a lot of people who did apply later than me and still got in and interviews, but I still wouldn't risk it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or want me to do a video on anything specific, please let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos. Thank you.